All right, welcome back to the LCP Digital Learning Channel. Today we're going to talk about how to make GIFs in Keynote and then why they're important. So what I love about Keynote's GIFs is that you can use an animation and it loops on itself. And so these can be added to digital books when you're making them. They can be added to presentations. They can be added also just with inside clips. What's great about that is it shows that knowledge without having to repeat that video. So here's a couple examples. So for example, here is the cycle of a plant. And so what's nice is once I've made this in Keynote and exported it as a GIF, I don't have to press buttons for it to go through this cycle. It just does it automatically. So here it shows the seed, and then as soon as it's done, it repeats. Okay, here's another example of just a real quick math one showing the different parts of a, um, of a triangle, but what's great is this repeats over and over and over without me having to do anything. Okay, here's a quick one I made of the solar system. And then this is one of my favorite ones. So this is showing the moon going around the earth. And then on top right corner is the example of what that would look like as it's moving around. And the last one here is the water cycle. And again, what's cool about this is that a cycle is continuous. It's a circle. It goes around and around and around. And so this kind of goes and shows the students that this is a cycle. It repeats. All right, so let's talk about how we can make these. Okay, so here's an example of how to make these. So I'm gonna show the cycle of a butterfly. So each of these pieces, when I've gone to animate, here I've used the motion path to show these moving on to the different aspects. And then this is a rotate. Now what's great is when I'm done with all of the movement and I've put together everything I want, all I have to do is three dots, export, animated GIF. And then I need to decide slide range. If there's more than one slide, you need to make sure if there's five, one, and then you would have the next number as five. So, um, this frame rate, you can go 25 frames a second or 30. And then auto advance, you can have a time between these if you'd like. And then what size of a GIF? I just go ahead and go to large. And it tells me down here at the bottom, it's gonna be eight seconds. So when I export this, and it's going to ask me, how do I want to share this? I'm usually going to just save this to my camera roll. That way I can use this no matter which app I'm in. All right, now let's see what this looks like. So here's my camera roll. And then as you can see, all my movement happens. It rotates. And then it starts back over. So an easy way to make a GIF to show some movement without having to constantly replay that video. Hope that quick tip was helpful. Have a great day. If you found this video helpful, make sure and hit that like button. To make sure you get more videos like this, be sure to click right here to subscribe and to click the bell to make sure you get notifications. If you'd like to submit a topic or concept for future videos, there's a link in the description down below. And if you're looking for more digital learning tips and tricks, make sure to follow us on Twitter.